What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Collector KP. It's been a while, but we are back. Today's video, we're going to be opening the V Union boxes. We got Zashian V Union, Greninja V Union, as well as Mewtwo V Union. These cards are absolutely beautiful, and the boxes themselves have a lot, have four packs. We got Sword and Shield, Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain, and Evolving Skies to crack open. So, before we get into that, however, we're also going to be revealing the 4K giveaway. We hit 4K followers over on the IG, the Instagram. So as a thank you, we're going to be doing a giveaway starting with this video. So there will be a respective post once I get this video up on Instagram, also going over the details. But what I want you to do is very simple. Comment which box is your favorite, Zacian, Greninja, or Mewtwo. That's all you got to do. Comment down below whether you like the Zacian, Greninja, or Mewtwo V Union box. All of you will be entered, all of you that comment in the section below and follow the uh, giveaway instructions on Instagram will be entered into a giveaway. I will choose the winner a week from today. So today I believe is the 25th. I should have this video uploaded by tonight or tomorrow, so the 26th. So we'll say October 1st is going to be um, when I choose the winner on Instagram. It will be uh, for one, whatever box that you uh, chose. So I'm gonna choose a winner at random and whatever wh whatever box that you chose is going to be the box that you win. So keep an eye out for both posts here on YouTube as well as the Instagram. And again, we're right into this opening of the V Union boxes. Hope you guys enjoy and good luck on entering that giveaway. All right, so we're gonna start off with the Greninja V Union box. These are the first time I've actually been able to get or go over any of this stuff here. So we're gonna go relatively slow when going over the V Union cards, what they do, and putting all the pieces together. See what it did there? I need to get a light. <laughs> all right, so let's take a look. Let's put these together here first of all. There's the code card for the Greninja V Union. We'll put this die guy together and then we'll look at the promo uh, jumbo card. So first of all, here is Professor Burnett. The supporter card, search your deck for up to two cards, discard them and shuffle your decks. So obviously super fantastic for getting these guys into the discard pile. If I ever say graveyard, it's because I played Yu-Gi-Oh way too much. So. There's our V Union all put together. We're gonna take a look at this beautiful promo jumbo card, which is just absolutely stunning in my opinion. So we got Greninja V Union, total of 300 HP, which is not super fantastic in my opinion. Um, the way, so each one of these cards, I believe, yeah. So each one of these cards has a V Union rule box, which I can zoom up here says once per turn during your once per game during your turn combine all four different Greninja V Union cards from your discard pile and put them into play on your bench. So these things obviously can't be resurrected by any measure or once they're uh, once they're destroyed it cannot be revived. Also it only gives up three prizes so I know there was a lot of rumors circulating that these would give up four prizes. It's pretty cool um, that they actually only give up three. So we're gonna take a look at this guy overall. Each uh, V Union attacker, at least in the Zacian, Mewtwo, and Greninja line, has the Union gain for one colorless. Search your attach up to two water energy cards from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Pretty good for energy acceleration. I don't know of any water energy acceleration aside from Malony, but it specifies only V cards, so I don't know if that actually applies to V Union. I'm doubting it though. So not too much options for accelerating energy onto this guy. So the first ability for Greninja V Union is Ninja Body. When your opponent plays an item card from, your, from their hand, prevent all effects of that card done to this Pokemon. Um, I guess no crushing hammers or anything to that effect. Not super handy, honestly. Aqua Edge for one water energy does 130 damage, so you're two-shotting pretty much all the V cards out there. Not terrible. And then on the bottom left slash Greninja Crotch, you have Antidote Jutsu, Jutsu, Jutsu. This Pokemon cannot be poisoned. They whoop. 
the attack Twister Shuriken for two water and one colorless. This attack does 100 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Don't apply weakness or resistance. That is actually pretty sweet, especially with all the um, with all the Rayquaza and the Flaffy decks popping up. We got a lot of one prizes coming up here and there now that ADP has rotated out. So doing 100 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon is actually pretty solid. You can two-shot uh, those Crobats that sit on the bench and some of the other stuff as well. So pretty, pretty good attack. And then the final piece, ability, feel the way. Once during your turn, you may have your opponent reveal their hand. Pretty good to see what they got. And waterfall bind for two water, one colorless. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. So... Overall, uh, I feel like it's more of a tech uh, card. It's not super easy to play, except if you have a deck built around it. The Swister Shuriken, 100 damage to each of your bones. Bench Pokemon is fantastic, in my opinion. And let's just take a minute to appreciate this guy. I like how the border, actually there's like rocks and stuff. He's like smashing right through this border as if he's just like erupting from a freaking mountain or something. So that is a really cool looking card. So. There is Greninja v Union, and there are the four pieces for this promo. So excellent, excellent looking card. Let's get into the pack. So we're always going to open up uh, Evolving Skies last because why not? So we're going to get right into it with oops, the Sword and Shield base set booster pack. There is the code card for that. Oops. Hit four to the front and get rolling with the rest of this darkness energy. Galarian Stunfisk, Hate More, Poke Kid. Make sure these are in view. Sword Bunny, Hoot Hoot Hoot, Scroopy, Diglett, Goldine, a Reverse a Sobble, and a Raichu Non Hollow with the Painful Punch and Mock Bolt. <laughs> Pretty cool. Next up is Chilling Rain. We'll go to blow through most of these packs since none of these are brand new. Blah. Psychic Energy to start off the Chilling Rain booster packs. Peony, Caitlyn, Lucky Energy, Ghastly, Ladybug, Oregon, Swirlix, Sneasel, Drizzle, and then Obama Snow, Non Hollow. Vivid Voltage, still hunting that rainbow rare chunk of chew thing evades us every chance it gets. Oops, rolled over my boxes. Ah, uh, Fire Energy. Yeah, there we go. Maybe that'll be lucky. Kakuna, Moo Moo Cheese, Sableye, Wismer, Drober, Whalmer, Cottony, Calabapus, Reverse Rare, Metagross, and a Two Canyon non hollow. So, Three out of three for dud packs. Let's see if Evolving Skies can save us. There we go. And we're gonna say Psychic Energy. Ho oh, ho ho, that's two for two. Gordy, Bravery, Nuzleaf, Gossifle, Feebas, Hippopotamus, Lipup, Nicket, Reverse Rare, Lucky Nicket, and a Rainbow Rare Leafeon VMAX. So that is a fantastic pull from the Greninja box. So we got 310 HP, we got Grass Knot, which does 60 damage for each energy in your opponent's retreat cost, and Max Leaf 170 damage, healing 30 from this Pokemon. It's a very, very beautiful card. Awesome pull from the Greninja box. So we're actually, we can just leave a lot of stuff here. Next up, we got the Zacian V, which in terms of playability, I'm gonna say, and I know you guys are gonna hate me, I'm gonna say it's my favorite Pokemon and we will go over why. So there's our promo. Get stuff out of here. We're just gonna flip these on right back. Come on. All right. So we're gonna set these to the side for a sec. We got the promo card for Zacian V. Let's put this guy together. So obviously each box comes with the Professor Burnett. And let's make sure this guy is front and center. Probably not center, it's all right. So there is the Zacian V all put together. Here is the beautiful oversized promo card. So Zacian V, of course, same as last time, all four pieces have to be in your discard pile. You can only do it once per game, three prize, KO. 
320 HP a steel type. So there's the union gain attack. So putting two metal energies from your discard pile onto this Pokemon. And of course we have Metal Saucer, which helps this guy out big time. And he'll be on your bench until you're ready to attack with him. So first attack for two metal and one colorless energy. Dance of the Crown Sword does 150 damage. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon's attacks do 150 less damage before applying weakness and resistance. So you're two shot in most V's, um, obviously a three shot from most V maxes, but I mean that's actually not a, not a bad attack. I mean 150 isn't something to sneeze at, but 150 less damage that it takes for next turn is actually pretty solid. Steel cut for two metal, one colorless does a flat 200 damage. Meh, doesn't even take out most V's out there. And here's the big one. Master Blade for three metal, one colorless energy, 340 damage, discard three energy from this Pokemon. 340 damage. It turned to this, goodbye. Snorlax, goodbye. Charizard Max, goodbye. One hits everything. I feel like this would be the only reason to actually play Z or V Union cards over the other one because you're doing, you're taking out anything that's on the board. Granted, if you're up against a one hit prize stack, I wouldn't even bother putting the, pulling the V Unions out. It might be a more of a Greninja that might be more useful, but I feel like in this, in the current meta, if you're gonna be up against a V, V Max deck, even another V Union deck, if you got Zacian on your side and you got Master Blade up and ready, 340 damage is ridiculous. So I feel like that is what makes us make or break this card. I feel like that's why um, we'll be seeing this card over some of the other ones. I could be wrong, but time will tell. So that is, Zashian V Union. So beautiful, beautiful card. We're gonna put the pieces over here, I think. And we're gonna get into these booster packs. There we go. Sword and Shield is up as per each. So yeah, Zashian V Union. One heck of a card. That's four. We can't count today. Didn't even guess the energy. Pokegear 3.0, Hop, Raboot, Rosalia, Goldeen, Clopopus, <laughs> Rhyhorn, Blitbug, Wooloo, and a Zamzenta V. So that's kind of cool. We got the Zacian V and the Zamzenta V. Dauntless Shield, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon V Max. Assault Tackle, 130 damage, discard a special energy from your opponent's Pokemon. So, pretty cool. Moving on to Chilling Rain. Actually, still hunting that alternate art of Blaziken. And we see we got a green code card, so we'll just be able to blow through this. Assuming it's going to be nothing fantastic. Agron and some junk. So, wah wah. It's alright. Wasn't looking for anything huge out of Chilling Rain anyway. So Vivid of Voltage Pack is up next. Get the card card trick down here. I'm just rolling over all these boxes that I threw onto the ground down here. Starting off with the Water Energy, Alistair, Matang, Kakuna, oops, Execute, Baby, Woobat, Dot. Aracuda, Reverse Rare, Electrike, and a Steelix V. I really like this. I really like the artwork. I know it's not a super useful card. Iron Tackle does 210 damage for five energies and does 30 damage to itself. So not much of a reason, not much of a reason to be playing that card. And of course we have Evolving Skies up last. And we're gonna say, Metal energy. Nope. Water two times. Was that three water energies on a row? Wow. Roma Lady. Moon and Moon Sun Badge. Cryogonal. Pet Metal. Bergmite. Drowsy. Scraggy. Reverse Rare. Wishy Washy. And a Thievil Non Hollow. So moving on to everyone's personal favorite the Mewtwo V Union Box, which I personally feel like is only people's personal favorite because the artwork is astounding. It is one of the most beautiful cards I think I've ever seen. So, get oh Alright, Mewtwo, come on out. So, you got the 
put a code card for all you guys in the TCGO game. We got the Professor Burnett over her, and let's put this guy together. So there is New to the Union. Such a beautiful looking card. Uh, let's move down a little bit. There we go. All right, so those are the four pieces of Exodia slash Mewtwo, and here we go. 310 HP, Psychic type, the normal rule boxes. So jumping straight into the attack slash abilities, Union Gain, Colorless Energy, attaching to Psychic from your discard pile to this Pokemon, not bad. Super Regeneration for two Psychic, one Colorless, heal 200 damage from this Pokemon. So I've heard people argue with that, oh, it's got self-healing, that's fine. But, so, I mean, that's under the assumption that you're, that you're taking less than 200 damage per turn. Otherwise, you're just pretty much giving your opponent a free turn to do something better. Or, you know, VMAX up and then do a stronger attack. So it's not terrible. Self-healing isn't bad, but you're using your attack period to do, to, you know, self-heal, which I'm not too crazy about. Also, this guy going fantastic with Shadow Rider, Calyrex, VMAX, obviously Energy Acceleration, plus drawing cards is always a fantastic thing. Cyplosion for two Psychic, one Colorless, put 16 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. Does that remind you guys of any tag team GX out there? Yep. You got it. So we got Espeon Deoxys, which the, um, the, the GX attack. Uh, I think it put 16 damage counters as well. So you're doing that every turn uh, with this guy. So one of the reasons, I mean, this is probably one of the stronger cards versus Zacian. You get a nice spread attack. Um, flat 160 is not fantastic for three energies, but when you're spreading 16 damage counters, that could obviously make or break a game. So not the worst card, not the, or not the worst attack, not the best attack. And finally, Photon Barrier. Prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon, damage is not an effect. So can't be paralyzed, keep the poison, etc, etc. Final burn for three, Psychic one colorless does a flat 300 damage. So, you know, you're one-shotting pretty much, well, you're one-shotting every single um, V card out there. You're gonna one-shot Greninja's. 300 flat is not a terrible thing, but um, it's not, you know, one-shotting VMAXs, but I mean, it's, it's respectable, so. Like I said, Shadow Rider Calyrex is going to love this guy. He's going to harmonize fantastically with it. Energy acceleration on V Union cards is going to be strong. So your pretty much priority is to get this guy into the discard pile as quickly as possible and then just start boosting this guy up. These two attacks, I feel like, are going to be, you know, well, if, we're, if we see a V Union, these two attacks are what we'll be focusing on. So in the, in the deck since Shadow Rider Calyrex doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot of damage. Otherwise, before this, there was the El Cream EV Max, so time will tell if this guy is going to be worth playing over El Cream EV in terms of the Shadow Rider um, decks. So get the most bang for your buck from Energy Acceleration, but we will see if V Union cards can make or break the cut. So, Sword and Shield, the last four booster packs of this video, we're going to get right into it. So, first code card from this box, and we're going to gas Lightning Energy, nope, Fire, Hunter, Vitality Band, Evolution Incense, Amazing Card, Cufant, Krabbe, Yamper, Silly Cobra, Gossifla, Pow Pad, Reverse, and a Marpico that is eating and quite happy with itself. So Chilling Rain is the third to last booster pack. I'm gonna try not to look at this code card and spoil anything out of that. Ugh. I've seen some pretty crazy pulls from these V, the, bleh, these V Union boxes. Porygon 2, Grookey, Murray, Rockruff, Swirlix, Lapras, Justify Gloves, and a Serena non hollow. So two for two in jump pulls. We'll head up this vivid voltage pack next. Say lightning energy for good luck. Nope. Alright. Grass energy. Kakuna. Loudred. Winden Stadium. Tynamo. Clobopus. Woobat. Taylo. Charmander, a reverse rare or reverse hollow leak staff, 
and a Flareon. Uh, so it all comes down to Evolving Skies, which is just fine. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I can even get this pack open. Oh my goodness. All right. Not having high hopes of this pack. I don't know if I saw anything. All right. So, Psychic Energy. Oops. Scrafty, Snow Leaf Badge, Hip Powder, Zorua, Helpip, Tentacool, Dino, Mareep, Snow Leaf Badge Reverse, and a Drampa Non Hollow. Womp, womp, womp. So, we'll go over the polls really quick. Not too many, honestly. We got a Steelix V, a Zamzenta V, and a Leafeon Rainbow Rare, as well as all three V Union cards. So, these guys are right here. We already went through those. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this premiere of the V Union cards. These guys are amazing. And I really, let me know in the comment section when you're not entering my giveaway, if you think these cards are going to make it to competitive decks, competitive play, or if you think they're more just for fun. So I like them personally. I think we'll be seeing either Zacian or Mewtwo. Uh, as far as competitive decks, I think Mewtwo plus Shadow Rider Calyrex is going to be amazing. Zacian can hold his own um, with its Dance of the Crown Sword and Master Blade attacks. So time will tell. Let me know what you guys think if V Union, yeah, v -Union cards are going to make it to the meta. Also, like I said, good luck to everybody on the giveaway. One week from now, we will be posting the winner on Instagram. Thank you, and once again, thank you so much for all the love and support that you showed me over on Instagram and here on YouTube. Absolutely love what I do. Enjoy it so much. It's a blast. I'd be opening up these packs anyway, one way or the other, so, you know, it's nice to kind of share in the community. You guys have all been awesome and so supportive, so thank you so much, and we are on the final countdown to celebrations. I believe it's three weeks. No, two weeks until celebration comes out, because we got October 8th which is the the first wave of celebrations. We got the um, Zamazenta, Pikachu V Union, Lance and Charizard, Dark Sylveon, uh, ETBs, and the little mini tins all coming on October 8th. And then, and now the Pikachu box is October 22nd, I believe. So we got the Pikachu box and the giant uh, gold premium box. So it looks like a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys soon in time for celebrations.